Hey guys, this is Derek from Housetop Media. Um, this is a series of videos put together to show you how to use the Studio Live Mixer better. Uh, this is just a warning ahead of time. These videos are not professionally shot or planned or, uh, or even using good equipment to shoot it on. Um, this is kind of roughly put together, but I wanted to give you an overview of how to get the most out of the mixer and try to help you guys um, have a better experience using it. So, once again, just a warning, this is going to be rough, a lot of ums and ahs, and uh, uh, I'm not all that cool and exciting to listen to, so if you need to take a break and go get a coffee, do so. But uh, hopefully this is helpful, and uh, let's get started. Right. First thing we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to properly set up your gain levels on the mixer to get the best sound possible. Um, up here at the top of each channel, see those little knobs? These are your gain knobs, or input level knobs. Um, each one's used to adjust to adjust how uh, much the board, the preamp in the board, is amplifying the signal coming in from the microphone or direct box or whatever's plugged into that channel. Um, the way we're going to set input levels is come over here to the meter section, and we're going to select the input button. And select the input button here. What that's going to do is change all of these LED strips into input meters. Now you can see on one channel here, this is going up and down it's because I've got a microphone plugged into channel one. Now the way we're going to set our gain knob is, I'm going to try to hold more things at once, is when the band is playing, you want everybody to be playing, and uh, you'll see all, everybody's input meters going up and down. Right now I only have one thing plugged in. But you're going to turn up this gain knob until when that person is singing and playing their loudest the bar is getting um, about halfway to two-thirds of the way up at the highest amount, the loudest amount they're playing. So check, 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 check. So let's say this is the loudest that I was going to be speaking um, or singing. And this, this is a pretty good level right here. You don't want it going higher than that. If, if it goes too loud, you'll see it goes all the way to the top and you get a red light right up there at the top. That means the input level's clipping and you have it set too high. So you want the input levels all to be set about halfway to two thirds of the way up when the person is playing their loudest on the instrument. Now once you got the input level set, the signal comes down through your input, uh, your, your gain knob, and the next thing that controls its volume, um, past the effects, the EQ and all that stuff, we'll talk about that later, is the fader knob down here. And so um, the way we're going to set up a mix is once all, first thing you're going to do is set all the gain knobs for all of the channels. Next we're going to um, start creating the mix actually going out, out of the mixer. Um, we're going to take whatever channel, whatever instrument or vocal, is going to be the loudest in the mix. It's going to be the bass they build, build the mix upon. And we're going to turn that one up to the U, which is the unity in it, that black bar across. In my mix, usually the drums is the most dominant thing that I start and build the mix around. So I turn that up to the U, and then I come over to my main fader, and I'm just going to slowly turn that up until I reach the point that those drums that I set at you are as loud as I want them coming out of the speakers. When I reach that point, I'm going to leave the main fader wherever that point is, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to build the rest of the mix around that. I'm going to add my piano, and add my bass, and electric guitar, acoustic guitar, um, all the other things, but I'm going to leave that drums right around the U. Um, if I need to uh, turn everything up but after that point you get the main fader turn up and down but um, everything's going to be built around the drums um, or whatever instrument you choose being the first one that you set up at the U and then everything else mixes around that. Now the other thing important in setting levels is the levels that you actually set on the speakers themselves and the way you're going to set levels on your speakers is you're going to have input coming into the mixer, doesn't matter what it is, could be music, whatever it is you want to play, and you are going to turn up the mixer main level until this meter up here is peaks up and hits the overload. 
When that goes up and hits the red, you're then going to back off the main fader a little bit until whatever you're playing, music or whatever, stops hitting, just stops hitting the red and goes to the top bar. Um, that means the mixer's output is as loud as it should go. And then on the speakers, you're going to turn up your speaker volume level until your speakers start clipping or distorting and then you're going to back those off just a hair, the volume on your speakers, um, so that they are at their max level. And so now both when your mixer is at its max level, your speakers are at its max level, and so they're matched, and that's called proper gain structuring. Now if you have an issue where you have your speakers cranked way up, but you are still not maxing out on your speakers, if you are coming out of the mono output for your speakers, there's this level knob here. And you're going to turn that knob up to increase the output from the mixer um, after that point that we showed that meter. Um, so if the meter is at its highest and your speakers are turned way up and they're still not uh, getting very loud, you're going to increase this level knob. If you're going out of the stereo output, you're going to take this knob, uh, the level knob on the stereo output and turn that up. And uh, that's the basics for structuring your input levels. Start with the gain always when setting up a mix. Gain levels, push the meter button. Check the input levels on all your instruments and vocals. Make sure that when everyone's playing their loudest, they usually have them practice their first song, be their loudest song, and have everybody's levels hitting about half to two thirds of the way up on the meters and adjust the knobs at the top to get that. Then from there, we set Whatever instrument is going to be the core that we build our mix around, we set that to unity. Then we bring up the level until that instrument is as loud as we want in the speakers. And then we build the rest of the mix around that.